Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. What were you looking at just now? That light. <laughs> yeah, a turn of adjusted those change yesterday so that light was aiming more there. I think it kind of worked. It yeah. did kind of create a dark spot right here, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And it helps with the when you're taking pictures. Oh over yeah, here a lot. You know? Or I'm I'm always pointing the camera over here, so I think that's ideal. Yeah, I think that's good. Yep. I guess we should probably have another road going down the middle, huh? Oh God, no, <laughs> no, no, we don't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say though, like I get asked, um, like lots of other people are, um, you know, getting sheds and stuff, and I get asked all the time about like tips for sheds i don't i don't know you know anything special or anything uh other than you know you got to have walls and insulation and electricity and air conditioning and heating and flooring and all that stuff but uh when it comes to these lights that's the best thing that i bought for this shed are those lights mm -hmm. they were easy to install yeah because you just plug them into each other yeah, it was the install was super easy. Like I just put these little screw those little hooks in. I think those little hooks came with it. And then you just hang it on that chain and then they they daisy chain. So they start each each uh aisle starts right here and one of these plugs that is switched to this right here. And then they're just daisy chained all the way down and that's the max you can do with these lights. I think I paid like $200 for all of them. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Oh. They're, they're LED, so you don't have to replace the bulbs. Yeah, they're perfect. They're, they're a nice, they're bright, but they're like a-, a It's clean. Clean white light. Exactly. That's like a blue haze or a yellow haze. No, the color is just yeah. like so clean coming off of them. So yeah, that's the best thing I've bought. I think I have information down below about them. Can you check later and see if I do? I will. Thank you. <laughs> Candace has been handling some of those uh, those kind of YouTube things lately. So, um, oh, I wanted to talk about the. I don't usually talk about like the seller updates and stuff, but we did um, get switched over to the new listing form on eBay on our account yesterday. So we're forced into it. We've tried it before in the past and then switched back to classic, as I'm sure a lot of y'all have. And uh, what, what are you thinking about it so far? Uh, I think it's gonna be fine once we get used to it. It's still weird to me. Like, I just I think your title they put the title below the pictures. That's just weird. I don't know right. why they decided to do that. But um, I think it's gonna be good once we get used to it. And we just read that they're planning on giving us more photos per yeah listing, uh, t up to twenty four. It says sometime later this fall. So yeah, th that's in the. Uh, fall seller update that it says that there's there i'm we're looking at it like i'm just seeing like what the big news is uh improved messaging experience we've been using that for i don't know a couple of months now and i i gotta say i i kind of dig it like on the phone i wish i wish i don't i don't think it's on the computer somehow it's not uh well. but I guess if you put the eBay app on your computer, I don't know, but it does it kind of like chat style instead of yeah. e email style. So like this, somebody asked a question, I answered. They replied, I answered again. And so it's all on one page instead of having to... So you can see the full conversation right. instead of having to go on back and forth. Yeah, I like it. No, it, I, I do like it better too. I just wish it was that way on the website as well. The other thing... They say there's some new eBay International shipping service. Not exactly sure what that what that's referring to. The videos we knew about, we're not using those at least yet. Um, we do ours through YouTube, but uh, yeah, the, we did try it, and it took like almost a day for them to upload it to the. I listing. think it's faster now. Is it? Maybe we'll try it again just to test it. Um, mm. going back to the international shipping, I have noticed um, listing these Digimon. I've been doing sell similar just because, you know, my weights and everything are already in there for me. And it switches on global shipping every single time. So you'll have to go in if you don't use G, um, global shipping. 
you have to go in and um, unclick that box. And the reason you're doing that is because we're doing we're offering the other international we're doing service. Calculated international. Yeah. 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 So, um, and we did have some viewers say um, that they're missing like the custom uh, SKU field or the UPC barcode field. We don't have the UPC field. We do have the the SKU field. I think it depends on which, it depends on what listing you're talking about. Uh, Cause I did see the UPC field a, a few times yesterday. Yeah. Like just click, do a cell similar off of something just so we can show what we're talking about. Um, yeah, and like one one viewer said he has three different stores and one of them hadn't been switched over to the new way yet. One of them had and was missing, missing the SKU and the other one had the SKU but was missing the barcode. So it sounds like they still have some kinks to work out. Um, but Lonnie's going to kind of show you what we're talking about. Yeah, here. so this is the new form here and I, a, a lot of y'all probably already seen it. First of all, notice how at the very top, it's just photos. Yeah. I would like well, the title needs to be at the top so yeah. we know what we're working with. Right. Because you have to scroll down. It's right here. It's right no below problem. there. Uh, I still don't like the subtitle thing. I almost feel like they could hide that somewhere. Um, I, this I wish was over here. I wonder if we oh, maybe we could edit all options. Look at that. What is that? Um, so turn that off. I wonder if it'll stay off. Okay, done. Maybe that's why it's not showing for them. Maybe they have to go into edit all options. Okay, so yeah, if, if your custom SKU is not there, go in and make sure that's not unchecked. And look, now the custom label, instead of being over here, is over here. And now we won't accidentally yep. do the $2 subtitle thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Item category, store category. All right, that's fine. Um, keep going. Yeah, UPCs right here required. Okay, so, I don't think on my Digimon listings that wasn't showing up. So maybe it's only for certain categories, right? Because I do understand, like on loose action figures or whatever. Why would you need that? I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. So it is on this one. It's uh, not been showing up under my action figure category. There might be more modifications that we can make to this. Like maybe we could move the title to top or something. I don't yeah. know. All right, we have some more to learn. And then your item specifics. Here we go. This big uh, long list. Yeah. Uh, that's where I just glaze over and I just start. I, I start yeah. up here. I'm like, all right, let me check all these. And by the time I get to like right here, I'm like, it, cool. it is nice how they've kind of they've put the required right here at the top. See the required mm -hmm. specifics is here. Oh, and they then, split them out because yeah. before. It was they would have meshed in there with everything. Right. Um, you do need to make sure your requireds are filled out up here. Okay. And then um, down here is additional stuff you can have, add to help people with their searching. Okay, <laughs> cool. And I do like how they put the condition and description yeah. right next to each other because uh, I usually we're, we're usually just putting the same exact thing in both spots. Yeah. What does show all options do here? Curious. Check, uh, uh, changing your fonts and stuff like okay, that. Okay, yeah. So that's probably where we're going to have to go to insert our video. Oh, true, because... Wait, what's that drop down? Can we get to HTML there? No, we no, can't. So that's probably... Unless okay. they, they may have taken it away. Let's see. Sh see more options. Show HTML code okay. now. So that's how you get to the HTML code. So, as yeah, you would insert your video HTML here. And then when you uncheck. Okay. It'll go back. Okay. Got it. All right. That's good to know. Okay. What um, else? What pricing, else we pretty straightforward. Um, so to switch over to auction. Oh, you have to do that. Do the Edit little, all yeah. options. Mm -hmm. I don't like how you have to open up a new window to right. do that. And off, also to turn on offers um, here. Yeah. Is I, under there. I know what they're going for. They're trying to keep the main page cleaner. Yeah. But it's... They also do show you like the, the average sold price for the item you're listing. That's pretty handy. However, I told Lonnie yesterday I was listing a lot of Digimon and I was putting them on auction and it... It gave me like this crazy low number, so it's not going to work for everything. So I wouldn't even, I'm probably not even going to pay attention to that because I do my research before I decide on my price. 
Um, your shipping is down below that. So we were at the price. Shipping's down below that. Yeah, this is kind of weird. It's like a, you have to choose a standard shipping or yeah. freight or local pickup here. Yeah. And then down here, you have to pick uh, your service. Right. So like if I wanted to do priority instead, I would have to add service. And then I could add priority or whatever I want. And then yeah. you could check. I mean, it's it's a little clunky, but yeah. I, I can work with that. Um, calculated shipping rule if you have that. All this stuff down here is fine. Yeah. Like I said, they this is the global shipping program. We typically use that. The things I'm working with now, we're not. So I'm having to remember to go in every time and click that off. Um Oh, I do like how, look, it shows if you used eBay's international standard of delivery, the buyer would pay 28 to $45. It does tell you what their average cost would okay. be. Yeah. Okay. So overall, hopefully that um, little thing we showed at the very top of that form uh, will fix the issues with the custom SKU field not showing up on hey, some stores. Look at stores. this. I don't, were you doing promotion because it's clicked on? Yes. Okay. I, I, I edited all of the... Uh, I did a bulk edit last night okay. and added promoted to all uh, to everything. Okay. So. Yep. All right. Uh, just a quick look at some, some like, uh, technical things on eBay. Time to pull some orders. Well, I do have... Before, oh. I'm sorry. Before I forget... Um, we've been having, not every single video, but we've had quite fairly frequently on some videos. We've had scammers coming on, telling viewers in, their, in the comments that they've won a prize to contact them. That is not us. That will never be the way that we do a contest, announcing winners or whatnot. Anytime we do a contest, we're going to announce a winner on a video. And um, we'll give them instructions on how to claim their prize. So please do not respond to those. And we try to catch them and do away with them. But sometimes they get in there in the middle of the night while we're still sleeping. They get in there. In the <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And if you if you ever have any doubts, just email us at shedflips at gmail.com. And yep. we'll let you know if that was legitimate or not. Yeah. So. And thank, thank you to the people that have been letting us know about yes. those. We've been, they're like roaches. You you step on one and then there another one pops up the yeah. next day. So yeah. I wish you two a, did a little better job. Um, it's that. so to me, I look at them and usually it's, it's kind of obvious, you know, like yeah. they have all these like weird, like colors and, uh, this one had like, um, swirls, shed flips, telegram or something. Yeah. Like, that I've seen that on like just about every channel yeah. I, I watch now mm -hmm. that that's going on. Yeah. So. Yep. So just know you will you will know first of all if we're running it. First of all, we have to be running a contest to give something away. But if you're ever in doubt or get a message like that, please let us know at shedflips at gmail .com. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different today. Um, I am gonna show packing again. It's not gonna be an every video thing, but uh, I enjoyed it so much the last time, and I like the feedback. Um, and I, I think a lot of y'all like watching it. So we're going to we're going to show y'all packing 10 items that sold on eBay. That's going to that might be one of the title things. But uh, let's go ahead and pull these things and get them packed. And we're going to pull and pack each item today. First up in Digimon drawer, we're looking for D4. You don't have to move. I got it right here. This is who is this? Rapidmon. Must be a uh, runner or something. That sold for $26.99 plus shipping on top. All right, let's go. For this one, we're just going to use a 644 box. And on light stuff, I usually just tape in both directions. And then I end up wanting the tape to touch itself. Because tape attaches to tape really well. I'm going to very loosely put this in there. There is some paperwork, so I'm not going to smush it too much. Put my stuff in there and seal it up. And so, yeah, the tape always attaching to tape makes it less likely that it's going to come undone 
6 Echo. We sold this Dremel tool. I just listed this yesterday. Bought two Dremel tools for $2 a piece. Just loose tools only. And uh, this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. Okay, this one's a little instructive because it weighs, just the tool itself weighs over a pound. So we know we can't go first class package, but it's small. So in this kind of case, I like to use an eight by six by four box. I'm not gonna put a bunch of tape on this because it's not the outer packaging. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack it. We're gonna pack it like that. And I can kind of get an idea of how high it needs to be. And I could certainly grab a box resizer. Could certainly just take a little bit off the top. An eight by six by four box is just a little too big to fit into one of these. And that's what we're trying to do because these ship for $8.20. So I made sure that it would fit first. And then I just made a little score all the way around. Just gonna, I'm putting this in one sheet of bubble wrap. Gonna put a little extra paper padding in there. In this case, we do not care about the weight of this package at all. because we're using a flat rate product. And believe it or not, these things here, you can actually ship up to, I think it says it on it, up to 70 pounds, it says at the bottom. Man, can you imagine how mad your carrier would be if you tried to ship that? Something that weighed 70 pounds in that envelope? That's crazy. Okay, so now we have that all done. We'll grab a thank you card and a sticker and we we'll grab this guy and now our little dremel tool is shipping out at eight dollars and twenty cents which is these days fairly affordable unfortunately for Bravo right this is a good sale and these are some cool shoes if we still have them that's them here yeah oh, that's odd okay we have some shoes in here allegedly uh, those are Converse that are like, they're custom Converse, but we think they were customized by Converse, right? Yeah. So Converse on their website, you can go in and customize shoes. And um, they had them made for their wedding day, but decided not to wear them. Or decided not to get married. Or maybe that. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> ask details, but yeah, that's what that's all about. They are cool looking shoes too yeah, though. Yeah, they are nice looking. Like see with the, that floral pattern there or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got 70, I think $74.99 plus shipping on top for those. Candace, you said you paid like $10 for those, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't have paid more than that, but I, they had them marked like fairly high. I think like 20 or something and I got them down. You always, you always like making offers on Converse. I've noticed that. You very rarely buy Converse yeah, without Converse. Them. Like there, we always find good Converse. People just don't buy them. It's weird. Well, I guess for one thing, your casual garage seller it has to be in their size, and it has to be their style. So I would expect more resellers to buy them, but yeah, glad they don't. Yeah. Okay, this one is fairly straightforward. Pair of shoes uh, going in a shoe box to Tennessee, and this. I just checked this shipping to Tennessee at a three pound rate is 
$8.52, which is these days pretty damn cheap, <laughs> unfortunately. I can remember back when $8 was kind of expensive for shipping. But yeah, this is really straightforward. I'm just putting it in there, packing some paper just to so it's not totally bouncing around the box, which wouldn't even really matter because there's a box in there. And then putting our thank you card and stickers. And then over taping. That one's done. Okay, five echo. Oh, we've got several. I think we have to, it's five echo alpha five, I think it was. Yeah. Okay, so we have different letters within that shelf. And this is what we're looking for right here. This little pair of jeans for American Girl. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. And this next one, this is about as straightforward as it gets. Drop the product in. Add my stuff to it. Close it up. I do like to waste a little bit of tape right here. This is backup insurance. All right, CC9, we sold one of these costumes. Oh, I already knew about this because they actually asked um, if I, they said they used the wrong address. So they gave me a different address on something cheap like this, no alarm bells. Uh, I am going to go ahead and ship it to the address they gave me, which is on this little note right here. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. All right, then we have the sailor outfit getting shipped. And yeah, we always just get these eBay poly mailers. These things are good. They're nice and tough. And with the store thing, like you got to spend it on something, so you will usually get a bunch of those. Well, that was easy pack. Okay, on nine Delta, we sold a lot of Harry Potter stuff. I think it's in this baggie right here. Yep. It's got like a flying snitch key or something. No, flying key. It's got a Hermione doll. It's got a necktie. It's got some other stuff in there too. $15.74 plus shipping on top for that. All right, another simple pack. That's why when we tell y'all, like sometimes we sell lower cost items. And you might always hear us talking about it's going to be easy to list and pack and things like that. When we talk about easy to list or easy to pack, this is what we mean. Like something taking 30 seconds to a minute to pack versus something taking 10 minutes to pack makes a big difference in the amount of profit because time is money, right? Allegedly, that's what I keep hearing. All right, that one's done. One Bravo, we sold a lot of Disney movies, supposedly on this shelf. Oh, they're right here in front of me. All these clear cases, here we go. Bought these at a garage. Oh, wait, it's gonna be this one right here. Here we go. All in this thin type jewel cases. These sold for $35.99 plus shipping on top. That's a lot of 24 movies total. Okay, this is one where I don't love this box for this pack for these CDs or DVDs. But really, it's all we have. 
We have some uh, 12 6 6 boxes that are on the way. I think maybe today. We, that's what we got with our coupon last time. Yeah, this is just a kind of a weird size. Doesn't quite fit the 864s that I like to use. Over. We don't really have anything perfect. Boom. 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 Three Alpha, we sold this guy. This is a jigsaw puzzle we bought for a dollar last weekend, the last supper. Sold this for $12.99 plus ship. All right, we're gonna have fun with this one. I don't know where I'm going with it yet. This is long, and we are currently out of the longer style gar garment box type uh, priority boxes. So we're going to have to come up with something here. We do have some on the way. Candace made an order the other day for them. So anyway, looking at this, I can see that if this was half as long, it would fit this. So I'm going to start this by just going right down the middle. Well, eyeball it right down the middle anyway on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and fold it out and see where we go from there. Like we could just, if we wanted to, we could just pad it like this. And I might even do that because that'll be easier. And there's no, we're not at a point where there's like uh, any kind of dimensional concerns as far as the rate goes. So I may just do it like this. I'm going to go ahead and secure this down. And square it up a little bit. Okay, so now our box fits in here. So I'm just going to paper on either side. Do that and close it down there's enough strength from the top and bottom where i'm not worried about that i think it's good then we'll just use some more tape we had another person that does not like the use of bubble wrap and said they opt instead to use newspaper which all I can say to that is to each his or her or their own. Here we go. All right, puzzle packed. Oh, I have to go back and fix this. Another opportunity to use tape. Here we go. And here, done. That was kind of messy. Went ahead and got this little box down. Little car parts, looking for 14, which is this box, 53. This little part right here sold for $7.99 plus ship. All right, back to easy. That puzzle would have been easy too if I would have had the right boxes. The right boxes make such a big difference. They are on the way. 
make sure you order plenty of boxes before fourth quarter because they can get uh, hard to come by in November and December. And on CC5, we sold this little goldfish costume for babies. <laughs> this sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Let's pack it. And last one, a little uh, goldfish costume. Not goldfish. I'm going to call them that a goldfish. That's a clownfish, right? Yeah. Isn't that a clownfish? That's Nemo. That's Nemo. They, yeah, they, they didn't want to say Nemo, but they didn't know what kind of fish it was. Hmm. I wonder if uh, this company is an enemy of uh, that franchise. Did you like my joke? An enemy? <laughs> I said an, en an enemy. <laughs> oh well, that was a stretch. I was fishing for a laugh. You sunk. Huh? You sunk. I suck. Oh, come on. You sunk. Oh, I sunk. You didn't <laughs> take the bait, huh? <laughs> All right, that is everything packed up. Uh, a little bit of a slow day. 10 orders and nothing like really big well the shoes were a bigger sale but uh yeah hope y'all enjoyed that little packing thing the puzzle got a little dicey sometimes i get i get like that though like i'll just be going along and then i'll have some idea to pack something and then it ends up being a little weird but then good enough to good just go ahead and get it out and move on <laughs> but that's the reality that's how i pack We've got some things to do this afternoon, so we're cutting out of here early. Thanks a bunch for joining us. Hope y'all enjoyed, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.